Yo-yo's character analysis continues on your writing. Next paragraph. Yo-yo is a childish, immature, Childish, immature person who can easily be cheated. Who can easily be cheated by any corrupted person, by any corrupted person. By any corrupted person. He fails to understand. He fails to understand that Unsu and Sudu Unsu and Sudu are trying to use him and his wife are trying to use him and his wife to achieve their to achieve their selfish desires, selfish desires. Selfish desires. Full stop. Yo yo's Extreme greediness for money. Yo-yo's extreme greediness for money. Yo-yo's extreme greediness for money. Is used by Sudu and Unsu. To fulfill their ambitions. To fulfill their ambition. Full stop. He is cheated. He is cheated with the promise of a large price. Here I see large price. And a business trip, 
and a business trip to Kyoto if he can make another Senba Ori. If he can make another Senba Ori. Full stop. Yo-Yo is attracted. Yo-Yo is attracted to this lucrative L-U-C-R-A-T-I-V lucrative promise Lucrative promise, and he forgets, and he forgets the agreement, and he forgets the agreement between him and his wife. Never to view, never to view full stop. After weaving many, pieces of Senba Ori. Many pieces of Senba Ori. Yo Yo and Su. Come to a mutual agreement. Mutual agreement. To stop weaving, to stop weaving Senba Ori as it is harmful, as it is harmful to Sue, harmful to Sue. But yo yo forget this. <laughs> Promise to his wife. <laughs> and <laughs> he begins to think of He begins to think of satisfying. His greediness for money. Satisfying his greediness for money.
greediness for money offered by the two traders offered by the two traders he he unkindly he unkindly and unlovingly unlovingly threatens his wife T H R E A T E N S threatens his wife to view to view Senba or again Senba or again. Senbaori again. Senbaori again. He is not intelligent and rational enough. He is not intelligent and rational enough to understand to understand the peril P E R I L destruction peril. that may come upon that may come upon their lives their lives their lives by running after money by running after money greedily So kindly request him. So kindly requests him to be moderate. To be moderate in the matter of money. as it brings as it brings much unhappiness much unhappiness and less happiness and less happiness 
less happiness. He does not listen to so uh, does not listen to so and finally he loses both Sue and his happiness, both Sue and his happiness. Happiness, right. Uh, that is enough for uh, Yo-Yo's character analysis. And still we have to analyze these two characters, Unsu and Sudu. I will give you that analysis as a question. As a question, please write down the question, essay type question. Is it a question? Discuss the two characters of Sudo and Unsu. Sudo and Unsu as depicted as depicted as depicted in the drama in the drama by in the drama three light of a quail quail by inoshita Inoshita. Okay. Discuss the two characters of Sudo and Unsu as depicted in the drama Twilight of a Crane by Kinoshita. Right? Another essay type question. On this drama, write down, write down, extreme, extreme, ever rise for money and other material values
brings about unhappiness to life rather than happiness. Would they not come as extreme avarice? Avarice means greediness. Extreme greediness for money and other material values brings about unhappiness to life rather than happiness. Discuss. With reference to the drama Twilight of a Crane. Right? Third question. Third question. How do you analyze Sue's character from women's point of view. How do you analyze Sue's character from women's point of view? What are you going to write? You have to discuss ideal qualities of Sue as a woman. You have to admire her character. Right? Fourth question. Fourth question. Write down The drama Twilight of a Crane depicts a conflict between love and money in modern sense. in modern sense. Close the inverted comma. Do you agree with this 
statement. Do you agree with this statement? The drama twilight of a crane depicts a conflict between love and money in modern sense. Do you agree with this statement? What are you going to write? Who represents love here? Su. Who represents money? Su, Du, Un, Su, and Yo, Yo. Huh. You have to discuss how Su stands for love, how Yo, Yo and other people stand for money. And you have to show that conflict, that fight, clash between them as depicted in the drama, as it is in the drama. Right, drama ke penna ne dire ka saka chagra. Will I talk for a crane pip question? Will I talk for a crane? is merely a fairy tale without any meaning. Without any meaning to the modern society. Twilight of a Crane is merely a fairy tale without any meaning to modern society. Do you agree with this opinion. Right. Now you have to discuss. You have to say, no, I don't agree. First. And you have to say, why? Because Twilight of a Crane has a theme for modern society, discuss those themes with reference to drama. You have to discuss the themes I gave you. That is the answer for this question. Right? The light of a crane is merely a fairy tale without any meaning to the modern society. Do you agree with this opinion? Yes. Do you agree with this opinion? Right. Now, uh, these are some probable essay type questions from this uh, drama. I will give you another one, sixth one. Discuss the dramatist. Discuss the dramatist dramatist's effective use of technique. Techniques discuss the dramatist effective use of techniques in writing and dramatizing right. 
writing and dramatizing this dramatizing the drama that can play twilight of a crane. Now what are you going to write as answers? As you answer, effective use of techniques, all dramatic techniques used by the writer, right? Ah. Okay, now there are six essay type questions. Please answer them. Hmm. Before you answer in these questions, please read all critical notes, all notes on techniques, all notes on themes, all notes on character analysis. After reading them, begin to write. Then you can compose a nice essay, some nice essays on these questions. Right? That ends this session on uh, character analysis and essay type questions. Next, we have to discuss some context type questions. We'll discuss them in our next session. Context type questions.